He's the most powerful man in Christendom. But even the Pope has to stick to the rules. Here are some of the weirdest of all. Few people on Earth wield quite as much influence as the Pope, best known as the head of the Catholic Church. This global figure is the guiding patriarch of some 1.3 billion Catholics around the world. The current guiding patriarch as of 2023 is Pope Francis, who was elected on March 13, 2013. Born December 17, 1936 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Pope Francis, or originally known as Jorge Mario Bergoglio, was the first pope elected from the Americas. He set a simple style from the beginning. He even insisted that he would not be Francis I, instead he is just Pope Francis. His predecessor was Pope Benedict XVI, and the one before that was John Paul II. For years, the pope tended to be elected from the ranks of the Italians. However, John Paul II, whom the Catholic Church recognized as a saint in 2014, came from Poland. He was elected in 1978 and was the first non-Italian pope in more than 400 years. Pope Benedict, meanwhile, came from Germany. There's no rule, bizarre or otherwise, saying the pope has to be Italian. However, it certainly helps if he speaks the language. Traditionally, the more languages a papal candidate can speak, the better suited they are for the job. Pope Francis is fluent in four languages, Spanish, Italian, German, and Latin, while his predecessors spoke even more. Whoever is elected to the papacy has a number of different titles and job descriptions. Besides leadership of all those sections of the Catholic Church, he's also the Bishop of Rome itself, which makes him head of the Latin Rite, the largest of the groups that make up the Church. Even as head of an organization as incredibly large and complex as the Catholic Church, the Pope still has delineated responsibilities and duties to fulfill, along with a good deal of power and influence. He's the head of his own country, for one thing. The Vatican City State, which is about 120 acres and entirely surrounded by the city of Rome, was created as an independent nation by the Lateran Treaty in 1929. As such, he has a certain degree of influence on the world stage, though this is more as a moral voice than an economic or military power, and it is largely expected that he uses this influence for the benefit of mankind as a whole. Peace is not simply the absence of war, but the work of justice. There's a very active Vatican diplomatic corps, too, and Pope John Paul II is often credited, along with President Ronald Reagan, with helping broker the collapse of the Soviet Union. Pope Francis is known for bringing together President Barack Obama and Cuba's President Raul Castro. In accepting the papacy, a pope also agrees to an astounding number of meetings. The pope must meet with more than 5,000 bishops at least once every five years, which comes in at roughly 20 bishops a week. And that's also not factoring in the countless public masses, speeches, and personal interactions he engages in daily. More often than not, a pope once elected serves for the rest of his life. Pope Benedict upset that apple cart by resigning in 2013, becoming the first pope to retire since 1415. He essentially claimed that he just wasn't up to the job anymore, and the church deserved someone who was. Benedict died in December 2022, having lived out the days of his retirement in Vatican City. These days, Pope Francis has his critics and has attracted controversy over a number of topics. Ultimately, though, history will judge this papacy as it judges all world leaders. Notably, Francis has made a consistent commitment to offering hope to a thoroughly troubled world. In recent years, he has commented on the war in Ukraine, COVID-19, the environment, and a host of other issues. And as for the future, in 2022, he swatted away rumors of his resignation, but insisted that he would step down if his health ever became a problem.